Hi everyone, my name is Peter Faria and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Intelligent Suite PDF Input Tool. Before I say anything, let me mention that the Intelligent Suite is an add-on to Outdoor Designer, so this will not come in with the regular Outdoor Designer license. It does require the Intelligent Suite add-on package. So, let's talk about the use case. We have some PDF files that we're going to read. In this case, our PDF files are nine different invoices that we actually want to read and extract the total amount of those invoices. The invoices are located in a specific folder where using the image input tool, I'm able to reference those specific files and then I can actually call them upon inside of Altrix. So how does it work? Altrix will give me the option of either reading the whole PDF and extracting the whole PDF information or I can highlight exactly what I want and extract only that specific portion of the file. Since I do not want to load and get all the information and only get the information that shows up when it comes to total as you can see right now on the screen, I only want this information. I do not care about the rest. I only care about the total information. I'll then actually ask Altrex to highlight this for me and only extract that. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. The image input will be used to input the files, but then the image template will be used to reference a specific template file. So we can then use the template file as a way of letting Altrex know what to do with the other files. So I'm going to head and click on open file. I'm going to locate the folder with the invoices. Invoice one, you can click on open. And now I'll be able to see the invoice one over here. So what I need to do is just highlight what I'm trying to extract. In this case, it will be the total information right over here. As you can see, I highlighted. I can then name this something. For example, I can name this invoice. This will just be the name of the column, right? So as I do this and I click on save, I can run the workflow. The image template over here, the image to text, will actually then convert the image column that we have created, the image information that comes from the template file and the actual PDF that we are reading and transforming and be able to match exactly what we want and extract all of those information out of every single file that we're going to be working with today. As I run the workflow, you'll be able to see that in the output. After the workflow ran, what can you see? You can see all the files that we read, how many pages they had, their sizes, as well as the actual information that we extracted. And you can see it is highlighted in red because at the end there was some space that Altrex, because it is over there, Altrex understood that it should be read. But of course, we all know that we can clean it up using Altex Designer. So for this, I can, for example, use a text columns tool to just separate the invoice column into three different columns. I can use, for example, space, because as I can see, I have a space between total, USB, and the actual number. So I can just separate this between three columns. I'm going to select the invoice column. And as a delimiter, I can use a counter slash S which is the same thing as space. Afterwards, what can I do? I know that it will all be separated into three different columns. I can use a select tool to remove all the columns that I do not want and only keep the columns that I do want. So the path, the page, the image, and the invoice columns and the invoice one will go away. I can rename invoice two as currency and invoice three as total and file as invoice. Invoice three, I'll transform this into double. And as I then run the workflow, 
I can add a browse tool right at the end. As I run the workflow, I'll be able to convert all those PDF files into text using OCR, the Auto Designer Intelligence Suite add-on offers. Then using the regular data parsing tools, I'm able to parse everything into different columns, as you can see. I'm going to be using a select to just clear everything up. And then I have the invoice, the currency, and the total amount for all the invoices that I want to work with. The Intelligence Suite add-on uh, for PDF input can, of course, do quite a lot. It does use OCR. You have the ability of reading a whole PDF and extracting the whole information out of PDF or being able to highlight more than one section, of course. You're not limited to only one section. You can highlight more than one section. You just then be creating different columns for all the sections that you highlight. Then, as you can see, you're able to put it in a text format and then using the regular outer data manipulation tools, you are able to clean everything up and get you the information that you're looking for before. So this was it for today's example. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys have a nice one. Bye bye. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.